Uh, this cheap old uh, pot that I chose to use is too thin. So the bottom actually kind of buckled. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Uh, may show better on the bottom. Uh, there's three creases and it had this fold in here for strength. So what I'm gonna do is I got a little piece uh, I'm gonna use underneath and I've got uh, some plywood and I'm gonna try to beat that back into shape. And after beating it back into shape, I'm going to pour some epoxy down in there to try to reinforce it. What I decided once I poured the epoxy in that that may not have been enough. And so I ended up then taking a, a piece of plywood nearly the diameter. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on film, but I put that down in there and I epoxied that down in as well. So now, this is fairly thin, pretty rigid. This is dead solid. So I'm no longer concerned about pulling the full vacuum I can from my pump. Um, I also have that nice epoxy floor in the bottom that's flat and level, which the, the previous bottom would not have been. So that's gonna pick up drips of resin and whatever. I'm not worried about that. So I feel an awful, awful lot better about this in terms of safety and functionality. What the f***? Okay, so they may not have been actually very dangerous, but it was scary, like really scary. So a couple of lessons to be learned. Um, I do think making your own pressure pot is a great idea. Uh, what did I learn? Well, if the bottom isn't thick enough to hold the vacuum, the sides probably aren't thick enough either. So I, I thought stiffening up the bottom would take care of it. No, um, I had this old pot, it was free make sure you get something that's stiff enough to take the level of vacuum you're going to want. Uh, for resin uh, stabilizing, which I'm doing with, with uh, cactus juice, you want to get to about minus 30 millimeters of mercury. That's a pretty significant vacuum. A couple of other things I did not show in the video, but I want to talk about. Uh, so I used this RTV silicone gasket material, and I think it worked great. Uh, but what I learned was, uh, first I put it on, I put it on thick, and I let it dry, and I thought that was gonna make an adequate seal. It didn't. I then cleaned that off, put on more, and then I put a saran wrap over top with some pressure on it to get a nice smooth uh, gasket. I thought that was gonna work. It did not. Uh, you really need to mold it onto the edge uh, of your vessel that you're doing. And you saw me put Vaseline on there. I think that's an absolute imperative. Otherwise, it's gonna be stuck together forever, and you're gonna be screwed, so. Don't do that. Um, get a nice thick vessel. Make sure that your lid is thick enough to take the pressure. So what have I done? This is gonna get recycled or trashed. I went and I actually bought one. So it's a little frustrating that I ended up having to do that as I wanted my own. Uh, so far, it's been working great. Uh, but this inexpensive unit I got from Amazon, I've only been using it for a week or so. It's already developing cracks in the top. So I'm gonna have to replace that. It's one of those you get what you pay for things. So uh, I am a huge fan of learning from your mistakes and here I'm giving you an opportunity to learn from my mistakes. So I always try not to make the same mistakes more than once. 
I always strive to make new and better mistakes that I've never made before. So I hope you enjoyed, maybe learned something. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell if you want to see future videos. Thanks for watching.